Hello everybody, uh, just a quick video uh, and this video is going to be about how to use uh, gelatine in a beer to clear it. Uh, I've just kegged the uh, smashed IPA that I do, volume 2, bit of a trial one, I've added mosaic in as well. Uh, I forgot to put a protoflock in and I had 150 uh, grams of hops in a dry up, hence it's come out cloudy. It's come out very cloudy, a bit like a New England IPA. So we're going to have a go at cleaning it. And we're going to use this stuff. Got it from Morrison's. I, I can't remember. It was somewhere around two pound mark. Uh, dead easy to use this is a powdered form you can get a leaf sheet form uh, and basically all you need to do now I've got a, a jug of pre-boiled water and I've got roughly about 150 grams not grams 150 millilitres of pre-boiled water to which I'm going to add just a teaspoon and uh, give that a good mix and stir it in until it dissolves uh, and that's your first step so now I need to disconnect my keg and uh, I'll show you it next step. Right, so we've got his keg uh, and we're just going to de it. Simple as that, I'm just gonna tip that straight in, put his cap back on, put his cap back on, he says. <laughs> And then carefully, just gently, you don't need to go mad. We're just going to give that a little bit of a, just to make sure it's all mixed up. I think that should do it. Just reconnect it back up. Right, so I've reconnected my keg uh, back up and I think it, it acts pretty quick uh, from what I've seen I mean this is the first time that I've done it uh, it's, it's I think it should be 24 48 hours and it should be done uh, it's now a Sunday I'm off Wednesday so three days I'll come back in three days on Wednesday pour another pint uh, and see if it's made any difference. So I'll catch you then. Right then, it's uh, been three days now. I showed you that pint on Sunday. It's now Wednesday. So this is the first one I've poured. I don't know myself how it's turned out, whether it's cleared up any. Uh, hopefully it'll have cleared up some. Uh, and just looking at it as it's coming up now it has so we'll get this poured and uh, we'll see what we think so like I said it's been three days 
and I've just left it in my fridge, connected up like you normally do. Uh, and we'll see what we get. Well, I can already tell you from here, it's not done anything to the aroma, which I didn't expect it to, because I can smell it from here. <coughs> Citra. So there we are. Now, I haven't got the best lighting ever. But that has definitely cleared to what it was. I'll try and put a side by side or something if I can edit something or a box or something to show you the other one. Now it's, I think it's got a slight chillies to it. Maybe if I turn you around and get it against the window, will that do anything? Uh, so you can see, it definitely, definitely has done its job. Maybe just a little bit more, maybe a heat teaspoon and have done uh, a better job uh, but I don't think you needed much more so we'll give it a try it's made no difference to taste or mouthfeel it's still fresh still lovely actually So, is it a success? I'd say it was. Uh, it's not perfectly clear. It's not like a, a lager clear. Uh, but these are IPA style beers with plenty of hops in. So, to get them crystal clear, you know, without filtering or anything, you need to give them a bit of time. Uh, and this hasn't been in this keg that long we've been in a week and a half or something two week tops so <clears throat> as an aid to your brewing arsenal i think that gelatine is a good shout i mean if i were doing it now if i'd have kegged it and i'd got it this clear to start with uh, if i hadn't have forgot my pro to flock and what have you and uh, I started off with it relatively clear like that and then I did some gelatine I would think I'd get it nigh on crystal clear but if I'm honest if I kegged a beer and got it that clear I wouldn't be bothering with any finings or gelatin or anything uh, but this was really really murky as you've seen so I just thought I'd share that with you, uh, it's the first time I've done it, uh, there'll no doubt be some out there that's already done it, and maybe do it slightly different to how I've done it, I don't know, uh, but maybe somebody hasn't done it before, so there you go, and I'll catch you next time fellas. <laughs>